They say this is Google's most advanced AI yet, able to nail perfect text, complex scenes, and absurdly specific prompts. I'm about to run it through three brutal tests and one of them might break it. Each test gets harder, pushing Imogen 4 closer to its breaking point. Level one is all about text. Can it generate an image with perfectly readable words without the usual AI typos or gibberish? I started off on chat GPT because a girl is out of inspiration. So I just asked it for some good prompts to help me test the model and push it to its limits. And I went with the first one, which ended up being like a Parisian bakery. It was very cool. I loved the result and you can see it here. You know, I left prompt magic on, which helps to enhance the prompt you give it. So you can see without the prompt magic on and then with the prompt magic on. Very big difference, I think. There's a lot more style in this image versus the first one. If we take a look at the prompt that we used, it actually nailed the text that we asked for right down to the little, I have to look up what this is called. Circumflex accent. Let's try this circus one. I'm also going to try the Imogen 4.0 fast model. So let's do that. See how that comes out. Wow. I actually am blown away by these. The detail is insane. Okay, last prompt that we're going to try. Let's go. It's a close up of a coffee cup. But first, coffee. I live by that. Comment below if you also need a cup of coffee to start your day. I definitely need a cup of coffee to start my day. I'm still just blown away by these. These are so cool. <laughs> this guy is just so funny. <laughs> I love some of the off results. Anyways. Wow, that was such a good result. I'm like, look at that. That looks so cool. It looks like it was stamped before it was put in the kiln. To pass level one, the text had to be spelled right, match the prompt, and look like it belonged in the image. You can see here, it did all three. That means on to level two, complex scenes. Now we're testing complex scenes, seeing if it can handle multiple objects with exact details and placements. For this round, I'm asking for a purple cat wearing a gold crown, sitting on a red velvet armchair, next to a table with a green teapot, in a cozy living room, in a photorealistic style. I will put the prompt up here so you guys can follow along. Of course, I'm inputting the prompt into Night Cafe and using Imogen 4 Ultra, now just Imogen 4. First, do we see all four objects? Purple cat, crown, armchair, teapot, yes. The cat is actually purple, the crown is actually gold, and the chair is red velvet, and the teapot is green. Now are they positioned like the prompt said? Cat is actually on the armchair, teapot is on the table. Since it hit all those points, it passes level two and moves on to the final test. For the final round, we're pushing Imogen 4 with an instruction following stress test, something hyper-specific that most models would break on. Here's the prompt. I don't have to read it all. You can just pause it here and take it from there. As we did before, we're going to head to Night Cafe and input our prompt and select the Imogen model you would like to test. I'm going to do a side by side of all three because I do think that's important to share. But also, I feel this first test was not pushing it enough. It wasn't testing its limits like I said I wanted to. So, with this next test, I kind of just button mashed and went to town. I know this isn't necessarily a stress test, but it is always fun to see how a model reacts to this sort of button mashing type of prompt. And it seems Google Imogen 4 reacted super well. That's a strong finish for level three and a good look at what this model can do when pushed for realism. So across all three levels, we've seen where Imogen 4 shines and where it still has room to grow. I mean, should I be complaining? Look at this guy. For me, the standout was the stress test at the end with the random button mashing, but I'm curious what you think. Okay, well, that's it. I think we got some really interesting results out of this one, and I've got some really fun ideas for the next video, but if you have any ideas, any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and we might test it for the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!